All right, so you have your California avocados, and they're picked at the peak of their season, so you already know they're fresh. And they're not just fresh, they're California fresh. That means ocean breeze, mountain air, desert sunset fresh. So after a day of taking in all that California outdoor goodness, you get to come home and open up an avocado made of all that goodness. Doesn't get better than that. Until you start to think of everything you can do with it. Throw it in a breakfast burrito. Top off your burger. Whip up a salmon avocado bowl. The possibilities are endless and delicious. The best avocados have California in them. California avocados, now in season. When spring has sprung, but it's looking more like stormy weather, Trolley Sour Gummy Worms are there to give you a thrill. With varieties like Trolley Sour Bright Crawlers, the worm's soft and chewy texture, surprising flavor combinations, and neon bright colors bring a burst of light to every rainy day. So when you want to feel a little lightning in the rain, Trolley Sour Gummy Worms are the perfect way to add some extra neon color to your spring. Shop now for any trolley that crawls your way. Welcome to Mile 12,002. Your dog just locked you out on a cross-country road trip. Fortunately, the new Hyundai Tucson comes with available Hyundai Digital Key, so your compatible smartphone is all you need to get back on the road. When it comes to smooth sailing, Hyundai is thinking of every mile. The new Hyundai Tucson. It's your journey. Test drive the new Tucson at your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Hybrid and plug-in hybrid options available. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. Second date update. You know, we've talked about people getting back into the dating game after being out of it for a while. Mm -hmm. But we don't normally speak to people on this segment who are using dating apps for the very first time. Like ever? Ever. Oh, oh yeah. cool. It's like a time warp. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you haven't dated since 2010 and you met somebody at a grocery store, nowadays you're getting an eggplant, all right. Oh. But it's a <laughs> digital one. Uh -huh. And I don't know if you even wanted it in the first place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's what happened with Rachel recently. She emailed us saying this is her very first time being on a dating app, and she actually met a great guy who's somehow not calling her back. So, Rachel, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah. Okay, I'm just curious because I've never been on dating apps, right? Because I met my husband oh, yeah. like before they were huge. Oh, yeah. Like, what is it like for your first time? Well, it made me feel kind of old, too, though. I mean, yeah. I had been in a relationship since college. So, oh, okay. like, 2007, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, like, I just completely knew for me. And um, when I got flooded with all these guys, it was exciting. It kind of it boosted my ego. Um, mm -hmm. But it, it took me about like two and a half weeks to find someone that actually fit all of my criteria. And that was Jack. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So you messaged him? So he reached out to me. Okay. Uh, so I thought that was vulnerable. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. that's pretty hardcore and <laughs> not at all but yeah. Yeah. It's, it's literally what yeah. thousands of other guys did but it's okay yeah. he said hey she's yeah. like oh my god he's so formal so, so confident i mean how long did it take you to go out with them like between talking to him on the app and Ooh, then the actual date actually about five days so we started kind of like sunday monday talking and then that weekend he was free and i was free so oh, even oh, okay. and i feel like a weekend date is a big commitment date mm -hmm. i don't know oh, like don't know. using your weekend for that i'll take a date any day of the week yeah, yeah. <laughs> or right now. it didn't work out i'm, I I'm available right i think now single studio. people think any time is a good time okay. yeah. yeah married people are like my weekend is my only yeah. time <laughs> like so what did you guys end up doing rachel so we ended up going to dinner okay um, it was really, really sweet. We we met there, so I took an Uber. Mm -hmm. And what what was that like for you? Because it's like your first dating an app. An Uber ride? You've never yeah. been in an Uber? Yeah. Well, it's done nothing. Know, but it's <laughs> like, <laughs> technology is amazing. <laughs> they can deliver food now? <laughs> what the? It's her first dating app. It's the first guy yeah. she's met on yeah. this. Like, I would pressure. be so nervous if I were you. Just because, God, that's mm -hmm. a lot. It's a lot of I'm new. a huge fan of Broad City, and I felt like I was in Broad City. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> what was the actual date like? 
Oh, well, he was just such a gentleman. Like, he was dreamy. He was such a good listener to you guys. Like, oh, I, that's important. He was what? Yeah. Yeah, it's important. If they're <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Did your ex come up a lot? Because, I mean, you did mention to us that you were together for a really, really long time. It did. Because, like I said, it was over a decade. And yeah. each thing that came up, he seemed to roll with it and it didn't seem to bother him. I mean, because wow. here's the thing. I was up front with him from the get-go. And I told him straightforward that I'm not going to go home with him oh oh this is like immediately after the handshake or when is this this was like after the first appetizer (laughs) because i wanted to kind of loosen things up but i just didn't want to get too loose if you know what i mean i mean okay okay. but that also sounds good you want to set boundaries and he should respect those boundaries it could also come across as rude though like you're also assuming that that's all that he's looking for you know like uh brooke's only saying that because she never would have said that (laughs) to a guy (laughs) Those That's words have it. never I, crossed her yeah. lips. She's like, I'm surprised they haven't slept yeah. together yet. <laughs> so we finished the first nap. Is it time? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, but seriously, like, uh, well, he could have been insulted by that. What was yeah, his reaction? Were you able to gauge it? He was taken aback, but he said he yeah. wasn't expecting anything. So maybe, yeah. like you said, he it just kind of threw him off or whatever. And, I mean, here's the thing. When you talked about bringing up my ex, for the first time, I didn't, I didn't cry, guys. You know, I was... On the day? Oh, oh, honey. I'm glad. Well, I mean, I get teared, teared up whenever I think of Dylan. You know, that's mm-hmm. my, my ex. And Sister, I, I'm with you. It's been five oh, no. years I know, since I, I've been broken up. Uh, I, I hear Rachel crying right now, oh, even no. just mentioning it. That's hard. Yeah. You probably were still emotional then if you're just like just now not crying talking about him. I think maybe the the drinks didn't help, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it always enhances. So, do you but, think that oh. that's why Jack isn't calling you back? I don't think so. No, he was like I said, he didn't feel like he didn't seem like he was weirded out by it at all. And that's good. No, well, it seems fine. If, uh, you, we all know you obviously didn't hook up, but did you guys like kiss or hug or like do anything else that's like intimate? No, we, he was a gentleman, so we did, like, the side hug thing. The side, side hug? hug? Like, I do with all my friends? Yeah. Like a one-armed hug. Yeah. Okay. I don't know that that's a good sign. It was my first date. Like, I haven't been in a real in-person date in over a decade. Like, give me a, like, give <laughs> okay. me a break. Yeah, I'm sorry. Was it was like a backwards hug. Yeah. <laughs> we're used to, we used to side tongue on this, so uh, we're just... Yeah. All right, we've heard a lot of dating stories, but yours sounds very nice, especially for your first time back into the dating mm-hmm. pool, first time on a dating app. So let's mm-hmm. let's play a song. We'll give not Dylan. Uh, oh, Jack. 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 Oh. Don't sorry. do that. Excuse that me. Is gonna go no, really go I am so sorry. Go, I promise you, Rachel, I will not call him Dylan. Oh, okay. In fact, this is going to be the last time I ever say Dylan okay, on this show. Oh, you just geez. said it again. Stop. Okay. Sorry, all the Dylans out there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll play a song. We'll come back and we'll call Jack for you, yes. not Dylan. Okay. okay. Don't yeah, say right it. after Got this that. second date. We'll be Dylan is number. Dialing is number. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Coming up. Okay. Second date update. If you're just joining us for the second date, we're talking to Rachel, who went on her first, first date in a very long time. Yeah. She said it's been more than a decade since she's gone on one, and she's never been on a dating app before. This was her first time on a dating app, and that was a little bit overwhelming, which is understandable. Totally. In fact, I'm going to do an impression right now of a guy seeing fresh meat on a dating (laughs) app. Let's take the music down. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, a newbie. (laughs) We're going to stay at Applebee's for 20 minutes and then go back to my mom's house and she's going to watch me play Mario Kart. Oh, man. So it's like she was dating in college all over again, is what you're saying. But Jack, who she met, wasn't like that. He was different. He Mm -hmm. was a gentleman. And how do I know that they were a good match? Because Rachel said she didn't cry once yeah. during their entire date. <laughs> wow. It's a low bar. I don't cry about her ex. Mm-hmm. Well, cry in general. Still, yeah. Yeah. No tears, that's love. <laughs> yeah. So, Rachel, we're about to give Jack a call. How are you feeling? Honestly, I'm, I'm hoping for the best. It, there was nothing but positive vibes. So I feel like something happened maybe at his job or 
family. I don't know. I hope everything's okay, but he's just perfect. You're and right. also, wow. it's like, you know, this is new to you. There's a lot of options out there that you haven't True. even explored. I knew this was coming. I mean, yeah. here it is. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Brooke's pep talk to go out on the town it's and sleep fine. around. That's how you get over people, Jeff. There, like, there, there, is, there is one thing that doesn't change in dating, and that's vibes. Like, you can tell if something happened on the date. You can pinpoint a moment usually. So but if you really, don't feel like there was something, then maybe there wasn't. She hasn't even really dated in her adult life. I mean, you've had the same boyfriend uh, yes. since you were in college, you know? Like, just want you to make up for lost time. But okay, <laughs> let's call Jack. You know what? We're just going to stop projecting our feelings <laughs> yeah. and our failed relationships onto you. We're just going to dial Jack and see what he has to say, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. You Deep got breath. this. No big deal. Here we go. <laughs> Hello? Hey, is this Jack? Yeah, this is Jack. Who's this? Hey, Jack. My name is Jeff from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Hello. Oh, oh that? that's that's my co-host, Brooke, who just, <laughs> just jumped like, in with a weird voice. <laughs> no, it just sounded like how he was hitting on us when he uh, answered the phone. So uh, I was like returning the favor, Jack. Oh, yeah. Brooke, Brooke I, not I just think it's time. interesting because, like, it was an unknown number, right? Were you expecting someone else on the phone, Jack? I'm sorry, what is this all about? Yeah, no, I'm sure you're very confused. This lady is talking at you and kind of hitting on you at the same time. Now, we're a morning radio show, and we're doing a segment called The Second Date Update, where we're trying to help one of our listeners get in touch with you after you went out. Oh, geez. Um, Sounds like fun, right? All right. Um, <laughs> uh, what, do you, what do you need from me? Well, well, we heard a lot of good things about you, so that's a good start. And we heard them from one of our listeners named Rachel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us what you thought about Rachel. Um, I mean, Rachel was, she's cool. She's nice. Okay. Um, was yeah. she attracted? I mean, like, were you attracted to her? Did you feel like you guys had some chemistry? Yeah. You know, uh, I think she's beautiful. She's really cool. And I think maybe she's just going through a lot right now and uh, working through stuff. But what do you mean? Uh, uh, <laughs> I was not prepared to talk about this. It's okay. Um, I mean, she told us some stuff about like her ex and maybe how she talked about that on the date. She said a lot of really nice things about you, about how you're a great guy. And a good listener. She oh, said yeah. you're a great listener. Well, that's super nice of her. Um, I, She was just really specific about what she wants in a guy mm. and uh, kind of went on and on about how I fit those things. And that, was, okay. that wasn't good. good to you? Yeah. I mean, it's nice. It is nice. It is, um, I think it was just like uh, a little much hmm. at some point. Uh, what was much? Like, I don't know. First dates are supposed to be a little more chill and steer the conversation toward things that are maybe more fun and getting to know each other. And it was just uh, basically at one point I was like, look, I just want to get to know you. Mm -hmm. You know, and she she smiled and she reached into her purse and handed me an index card. An in okay. Oh, what was on the index card? Index cards are sexy. Who yeah. has index <laughs> cards? Was it a recipe from her grandma or something? I kind of wish it was. Um, <laughs> on top, it said physical boundaries and kind of oh. listed all these physical things that she would oh. allow. And she also listed them by date. Wait. Oh, what? like Whoa, you what? mean like like first kiss, three dates in, you can touch my butt, four dates. In. <laughs> That's know. exactly it. <laughs> wow! Oh. Really? Oh my gosh! That's a lot what? of planning. <laughs> Do you have the card? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, date one, fist bump, fist bump, side oh. hug, and high five. Ah. Oh my god! I oh. wouldn't even wow. shown up. Send me the card before the date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from, what, from what we heard, it sounded like you did that side hug on the first yeah. date. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We definitely, we did. Actually, we did do the side hug. Yeah, how was it? Oh, I it was ex exactly what you'd expect from so a side hug. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So it wasn't necessarily her boundaries. It was the way they were presented. Is that what you're saying? 
I think it's cool. Like her therapist says to always create boundaries, which she told me, you know, yeah. And, yeah. and I think it's super healthy. That's great. But it's just not what I'm looking for. It's just yeah. a little much to me. And especially talking about it on the first date like that, you know. Yeah, maybe there's uh-huh. a more organic way to work in your boundaries yeah. rather than a mm. five by seven. Like card. what's more organic than having her be on the radio with oh, you and yes. tell her her boundaries right now Uh-oh. because she's been on the other line <laughs> listening, Jack, and she wants to talk to you. No. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. She's not respecting uh-huh. your boundary in that no. way. Rachel? Oh, no. Oh. Jack. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we had such a great time. I mean, you you're such a sweetheart. You just told me that you you like like you think I'm attractive, you know? Like I'm trying to be a great communicator. You know what I mean? Like no gray areas. I thought you would appreciate to know exactly what I want, what I needed. You know, like I'm I'm not I'm not trying to play games. Yeah. That's a hot pitch right there. And I liked it. Are, that was not a fun decent, game. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, feel free to respond. Rachel, Rachel, okay, look, this is a, I can't believe you're on, we're on the radio right now. This is ridiculous. Um, ridiculous I know, right? is a little offensive to me. That's okay. Yeah, I think it's very offensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, even though I think you're a great person, you are clearly physically attractive, and it's just, like, the, the chemistry was just not there, you know? And, like, the way this, this whole boundary note card thing was, was brought up, it just kind of killed the vibe. And I know maybe... Well, dude, like- do, you, do you know how many times a note card would have saved me on one of my Craigslist meetups? Okay. Whether or not... Like, <laughs> you think it's if it's going too far or it's, like, what? taking the spontaneity out of it. She's just trying to show you what she's comfortable with doing before things get <laughs> okay. awkward. But your cards yeah. go by the hour, Jeff. I think That's she the is. first hour and the second hour. I mean, Rachel... Saying, are- it's her first date in a really, really long time, so she's just trying to get her feet back under her. It doesn't mean you need to be a robot. Though. It's like when I walk yeah. into your car, I have to pull out the note card and check what I can do. If it's like side yeah. hug or small fist. Yeah. <laughs> you, know you said we didn't have any chemistry, but I guarantee that server would have told you different. And to be honest, it's your loss because after date number five, <laughs> Things really open up. So, oh. Oh. oh, was that on the card? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean the thing about Rachel, she sounds like someone who's very organized and maybe That's very true. different from you, and could really bring some other aspects to your life that you don't have right now. Let's get to the second date on your note card, so yeah. we can get to some of that Let's other stuff because we'd like to pay for that. Hey, what do you say, Jack? Give it another shot. A lot could happen. <sighs> Rachel, I just, I think it's cool that you think we had chemistry. I just think that, like, a lot of the fun was kind of drained out of it as soon as those boundaries came up. And okay, but give her a second chance. On the second date, mm-hmm. she knows that already. She doesn't have a second note card, do you, Rachel? Do you have another note card? Uh, not anymore, no. Okay. Oh, see? Look at <laughs> that. pencil, maybe you could just change a few She's things. She's funny. She's funny, Jack. All right. You know, if we can start over. If we can start over and just you want to go back to to date one, that's fist bump, man. It's like a punch card. You're going to get like a free latte (laughs) soon. So are you just saying yes? Is that what you're saying, Jack? I mean, yeah. Okay, I'll say yes, but I'll pretend like the card never happened. Okay. Okay. She still wants you to remember that. (laughs) Still respect her. Jack, I'm I'm actually excited and I'm really happy that I was vulnerable and called the station thank you guys yeah. Aww, and you barely cried once during this entire yes. call hey. that must mean it was a positive experience yeah just don't say that code word that makes her cry it's That's dylan it. oh god <laughs> brooke and jeffrey in the morning with CheapCaribbean.com, you can get more food, more drinks, and more fun for less money on your all-inclusive beach vacation. Like bottomless margaritas? Yes. And going snorkeling whenever I want? Yes. And moonlight dance parties? Yes. And loaded fajita nachos? Yes. And all the daiquiris I can drink. You can say yes and to everything when you take a next-level beach vacation and explore the best Mexico has to offer at Hotel Ishkaret Mexico with Cheap Caribbean. Seeing is believing, and you're not going to believe how bright and vivid the colors are on the Samsung Neo QLED and OLED TVs powered by the Neural Quantum Processor. Because this is an audio ad. Unless you can see it, which means you already have one. Nice. Samsung, more wow than ever. 
Hi, I'm Taylor with First Tech Federal Credit Union, and we're proud to help our members make the most of their money with a First Tech Rewards checking account. Earn cashback rewards, bonus credit card rewards, and more perks for all the ways you spend. Maybe that's why Money Magazine named First Tech Rewards Checking as 2023's best rewards checking account among all credit unions. Come see what we can do for you by visiting firsttechfed.com slash rewards. First Tech, invest in you. Insured by NCUA. Membership is required and subject to approval.